and for that we are going to use a terrain object so this will look for a height field volume and let's go back up and let's go all the way to our height field terrain and over here for our HF volume this is where our terrain was still in uh, the form of a volume so I can check this over here we can see that we have two fields for height and mask we are only interested in the height and if I were to grab this so control C and if I were to import this in our dubnet let's select our terrain object and place this as a SOPF so our height field volume and let's preview this this will work as it is but the problem here is that this center part in the middle that we split to create our fracture geometry is going to be overlaid on top of each other so we can see here that this part in the middle we already have it covered by our packed pieces over here and also our collision so we need to somehow edit this volume in order to avoid this center part over here so let's go back up a level and let's see how we can edit this terrain a bit from our terrain we can create a mask based on an object and we can use our original tube that we created to cut out the initial part of our terrain so over here for the geo setup we can see that we have this tube object and I will actually drop down a null from here and I will rename this to tube and I will control C this guy and just object merge it over here to the right of my terrain so object merge this tube so from my HF volume let's maybe actually just grab all of these and create some room over here so here we have the volume and my tube let's make some room and I want to drop from my HF volume a height field mask by object and plug the tube into the second input of this node so now we have created a mask with our original tube that was used to cut up the geometry so from this node I can drop down a height fill clip and plug this output into the second input as well so let's use the mask that we created and now I can adjust this max clip value and I'll just drag this down until we sort of start to clip inside the terrain so I'll just make sure that we have enough room that our geometry base and our surface area do not intersect with this height field volume and this will be maybe easier if I preview this geo init node over here so this is the part that we so this is the actual geometry surface that we cut out and we can see that we have enough room over here and maybe also let's go back here and I want to spread this hole a little bit so I want to separate it a little bit from the surface geometry so with this tube over here I can simply drop down a peak and I will just sort of expand this uh, tube a little bit so I will just increase this value of the peak maybe let's set the distance to 0 0.5 let's go back here okay so we can see that without with or without the peak how this will work and for the collision we don't really need to work with such a high count of uh, voxels and I can also further optimize this terrain if I drop down a height field resemble node and I will scale the resolution by 0 0.5 so this will split the resolution of this volume in half and from here I will drop down a null and I will rename this to HF collide collision and I will grab this node, control C and let's now place this in our dubnet so for the terrain object the sub path should point to this HF collision that we created okay let's now drop down a merge and merge this in and now we should have all of our collision and I can preview the output so maybe there's actually a little bit too much of a gap between the surface geometry and this volume collision geometry let's maybe go back up and actually I'll just get rid of this peak node over here so I'll just get rid of this and there should still be quite a significant distance between the pieces now so we really didn't need that peak node in the end and now we will see this terrain object more in action when we make our pieces fly so it has something to collide against but for now this should be fine and we can move forward.